All right, gang. Today we have Omo Por Om. It is a Poundland banger. It is a dupe of um, Aqua de Parma, Mediterraneo, uh, the blue ones. So basically there's about 10 or 12 different scents that they released all at once. Uh, they're like light, citrusy, summery fragrances. And they're all like very premiumly priced in the sense that like they're mass produced. You can often get them in gift sets, but like this is kind of a, you know, catch all for all of them. And, you know, we're, we're ripping apart this box and not so daintily because honestly, this is about four pounds. Um, this one was manufactured in China, but it was actually bottled in the UK, um, which is a bit of a departure from like the very cheap sense. Now, um, that, if that doesn't sketch you out enough, you'll kind of see when I open this up that it actually isn't exactly the same Aldi bottles. Um, it's pretty good quality bottle. The spritzer head, if you know anything about uh, Aldi fragrances, it's basically like a very heavy kind of sloppy spray. Uh, it's got like a very ugly sticker on the bottom, which is totally fine. Uh, you get what you pay for for $4 or four pounds rather. Um, but yeah, the nozzle, the head, everything, it's like, basically, it's a very heavy bottle. Looks really good or looks decent for the price. Doesn't look very, very cheap at all. If it didn't have the, uh, like, you know, the text on the outside, you'd think that this is actually a reasonably expensive fragrance. Um, when you hit yourself with this, though, basically, right away, you get this, like, almost pledge lemon note, which is actually, effectively, it's very similar to what they're trying to do with the Aqua de Parma scents. They're trying to hit you with that really sweet, strong fragrance, and it doesn't smell really bad. It smells almost like opening a can of, I don't know, some kind of, some kind of like citrus drink or something. But over time, it actually does get down to a very traditional smelling fragrance. It's almost what you would expect to smell on a rich old person, if I can describe that correctly. And it's very, very hard to pin down what that smell is. But... You know, after a lot of thought and a lot of like, you know, TLC and like a lot of thinking and wearing all these scents, I've kind of worked out that it's basically a very lemony opening, very uh, like orangey lemony opening met with this almost like sweet uh, laundry smell, which is kind of what you're left with. And as said, like this doesn't last very long. You know, it's like a good summer pleaser. It's something you throw in your bag when you think your bag might get stolen it's not something that you actually you know it's not it's not something that you'd wear like on a big occasion or anything this is like an everyday wear it's slightly better than something like old spice or you know like axe or something or lynx whatever that is but overall like it does capture effectively the essence of what it's trying to replicate but at the end of the day i'll be real with you you get what you pay for this is decent it's not the best uh, they have a few others that have just come out right now, so I'm looking forward to trying those too. But I'd say as far as Poundland goes, this is good.